Today I'm going to demonstrate the performance that you can expect from a Silicon Graphics Tesla when running it in a dual channel display mode. The current resolution that I've got running over the two screens here is 3840 by 1080 which is a pretty large resolution if you consider the vintage of this machine. I'm going to start off by demonstrating the nicety of having it running in this mode by opening up my black hole folder which is my folder on my Mac Pro which is linked to this machine via network file system and I use this to transfer files to this machine across the network file system so it's very useful to be able to open up the full folder on the left hand screen and be able to transfer files across to either disk 2 or my Unix roots on the right hand screen. Okay, next I'm going to demonstrate Maya to you, show you the performance that you get with this. Again, Maya loads up completely on the left hand screen and I've still got full access to my desktop on the right hand screen, showing the console as well as system performance as well as the icon catalog and the tool chest. What's nice about this is often while working in Maya, I might want to manipulate some of the bitmap files that I'm using for my textures. I normally locate these files in the Maya folder on my disk too, so it's nice to be able to have access to this folder while working in Maya. I'm quickly going to load a very large scene just to show you the system's performance with a dual channel display. This will take quite a while to load, so I'm going to speed the video up because it's a pretty big file. This file basically contains every single model that I've created in my 6.5 on the Silicon Graphics Tesla thus far. And it's pretty much on the limits of what you can actually render using my 6.5 on this machine. Okay, and there it finally comes up. I'm going to take you to the perspective view. Just articulate it a bit to show you the machine's performance. Okay, so this is a pretty big model. It contains my little universe model as well as the full Voyager 2 model, my virus model, as well as my indie model and the drive units which I built in my 6.5. So it's a pretty complex scene, this. Now if you look at it from the vertex point of view, the machine manipulates it pretty nicely as far as I'm concerned. Okay, I'm gonna close this. Next I'm going to demonstrate what Buttonfly looks like on this setup. So I'm going to open that up. And just for the sake of it, show you the demos that I've got on this machine. So I've got the standard IREX demos, pretty much all of them, as well as the O2 demos and the Octane demos. I've also got a few of the Onyx demos as well installed on this machine currently. Next I'm going to show you a game. I'll load up Quake 3 for this. Just to show you the machine's performance when running in a dual channel display. Okay. okay and there you go. Still at 30 frames a second. So you don't really get a performance knock on a game such as this one when running in a dual channel display mode. Okay, and the only reason why I've got it running in this resolution, if I look at the resolutions that I've available to me, I couldn't actually run it in a bigger resolution on these screens. But the system can easily do it. Okay, next I'll also bring up Power Animator. Okay, and there again, fits into the primary display with the secondary display made available to have access to the system while working in Power Animator. Okay. What else can I show you here? 
Okay, Corel Draw 3.5. Okay, and that comes up nicely while still giving you full access to the system. Lastly, I'll load up Firefox 3 and let's see if I can get into IREX network. I can bring up the forum. This probably won't load properly as this is a pretty old browser. But it just shows you that you do have access to IREX network on the system. Okay, and what I'll demonstrate to you as well is the changing of the display background. So I'll go into Desktop, Customize, Background. I've got quite a few dual channel backgrounds set up here, so I'll go into Winter first. Okay, and apply that. Sunrise, apply that one. Lake. So these machines are pretty customizable. And that concludes my demonstration for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching.